All right, welcome to the halfway season recap brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers. Let's take a look at, uh, this is basically all the back end. I didn't really make any special graphics for the halfway halfway mark. I wanted to show you the everything I do on the back end. I've shown this a few times before, but things change here and there. Here are the standings. Uh, basically, these are the amount of points everyone gets. So what I have here is my my base point system I use that I've uh, described that I always th uh, show when I show the standings and whatnot. And what I'll do is I'll make a duplicate of it so everything's there, and then I'll put in the recent race results. This was um, uh, Nazareth, and you see all I had to do was add one point to Julius Caesar for leading the most laps. So then everyone else has the exact points that they got. McGruber, four points, dead last. And then I alphabetize it. And then I'll go here, alphabetize this, put the, uh, you know, copy the all the all their points they got. And usually I check to make sure I did it right by finding the, lead, the winner. And it's Julius Caesar, so I did it right. But then I take the points and do Z to A. So that gives us uh, the point standings. And then I'll copy that. And then I have um, formulas here that take that I'll, I'll copy the those exact standings here. And then I have formulas that are calculating how far, you know, how far down they are. And then I'll, um, where are we at here? I will uh, go into my photo program like this I'm experimenting with something new a couple things also I'll be changing some things up but then I'll just be able to copy uh, all this I mean th these are the standings before Nazareth I haven't uh, updated them yet for the next race even though I did 15 races remaining there already but then you can see I just copy them and then um, I have points drivers right here and I basically just drag it in there and then I just there's a way in the program to set them up and evenly distribute them up and down the screen so that's how I that's how I uh, do the points for each race and then also here um, here's the well I mean <laughs> here you go here's the halfway mark um, team standings and just so I don't mess up these formulas I have over here, I usually go somewhere else and put them in. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna put them here. Oh, I gotta cop I gotta do that. There you go. And then I'm gonna go Z to A. And here's your standings. Because basically what I did over in this other sheet was glazed drivers, for example, L twenty eight is wait a minute yeah l28 is dorothy oh they're they're highlighted already joe dirt fleetwood mac and dorothy are ron guay bryce why did why did that not work that was cool or maybe i gotta highlight them here okay yeah you highlight them in the thing um or i had done geiger that's geiger now geiger is Walker, Wednesday, your mom, and those are all adding up. So it's all it's all on it's all legit. So here we go. Uh Matt Geiger won the uh well hasn't won anything because um I'm gonna release another video here soon after this one. But in the second half of the season, um I'm just gonna announce everything. Basically, uh the final fifteen races are gonna be all the teams are going to be set back to zero and there's going to be a 15 race, uh, I don't know, playoff or whatever. And we're going to do owner's points in the second half of the season, but I'm still going to be giving away money to the overall winner as well. I just wanted to, you know, Bryce, for example, <laughs> like doesn't have any drivers, uh, in contention for the championship. And I just want to give some money out to people, you know, um, well, uh, but I'll talk about that in the other video, or I did talk about that in the other video. I don't know which one I'll upload first, but here's what the owner's points are. Um, those are just, 
Jacob and Deanna, and then Chad Crow. Um, R.A. Kaiser, RFY Racing, Dumb Man Low, Campbell, Phil Sibarowski, B. Spinney, and Bryce. Um, yeah, I'm surprised. Surprised Matt. Ge I'm surprised Matt Geiger still is in the points lead in the owners' points, even though his other two drivers are just bad. Wednesday Adams and your mom, and Ron Guay. I'm surprised he's not in the lead. I mean, we've been talking about him all season with his. Uh, I mean, he has Joe Dirt up there, so I don't know. But through 15 races, th these are what the owner points will look like, or this is what they look like. But going into the second half, the final 15 races, all all the teams will be back to zero, and there will be an owner's points championship consisting of only the final 15 races. Meanwhile, we're going to have the overarching 30 race points championship still going for the individual driver. And plus, I want to keep track of the top AI drivers for our eventual Legends series. So that's, I, I think that's pretty, I, I, I like that. I like that idea a lot. I just want to spread the wealth. And I'll probably mention it in the other video. But I mean, if you say you're Ron Gway or you're Chad Crow and your drivers are up there in points and you're banking on $100, if you were relying on winning $100, on this YouTube uh, racing channel and like it not getting the $100 and maybe just winning 50 or 45 affects your like financial outlook on life. Like, I, I don't know. You might have other stuff going on. <laughs> like, you know, I'm just, 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 I don't know. All right, here we go. Uh, laps led. Everybody's led a lap. Like it's no, I never even mentioned it. I forget when we actually broke the barrier. I think, it was at, what was the race after Portland? Talladega. I think Talladega, pretty much everyone got laps led. And if we go find Talladega, we'll see. Yeah, somebody with two laps led there was John Denver. But he had already led laps. But it was around this point that people that hadn't led laps yet led a lap. Pete Rose led a lap at Bristol. Charlotte. Just these turds down here. That, how about Dwight Schrute? Top 10 driver. Hasn't led a lot of... How about <laughs> Walker, the points leader, has only led five laps for Daytona where you can just randomly lead a lap for no reason. And then uh, Bristol, he led a lap, probably during a caution or some bullshit. So pretty crazy. Uh, I'm up there. Daenerys has led a bunch of laps at a couple, a lot of places. Julius Caesar, all those are from Nazareth. I'm not really looking at the laps led numbers a lot because it's just... You just happen to be up front at a short track and then you'll lead laps, so no big deal. Uh, top tens, let me lock this one. I want to freeze, not up to 42. Current window is too small. What? Well, I got it. Yeah, so I won't be able to do that. There, there'll be some. Uh, Let's look at wins first. There'll be some weird uh, things pop up here, probably. Yeah, the ref right here. Just ignore those. But Oscar the Grouch and Gritty both have two wins. Smoky, you can see all the wins there. Um, and I think I do alphabetical here. Yeah, there you go. And why did I get why did I get junked? I don't know. Um, I'll just have to keep undoing it every time. No problem. So that's that. And then we'll go to top fives. I have the most top fives. Looks like I'll have the most top tens as well. Just because I'm, I'm great. Dwight Schrute, Oscar the Grouch. I'm not seeing Walker here with top fives. How, how wild is that? Two top fives. He's just Mr. Consistency. But he has a bunch of top tens. We'll see. Um, and you see Conan O'Brien, Hogan, John Wilkes Booth. Wow. McGruber and your mom don't have top fives yet this season. And I got to undo. And then we'll go to top tens. And you see I have the most top tens. Alex Trebek, sneaky. But now you're starting to see pretty much all the, the top ten drivers and points. Their names popping up here in the overall, you know, racking up top tens, getting points. And everybody has a top ten. McGruber, top ten at Auto Club. That was his. Hogan, top 10 at Trenton. 
Cardi B, top 10 at Phoenix. So those were the drivers that only have one top 10. And uh, DNFs, not, not, uh, not, I mean, we still got a ton of drivers without DNFs still. Um, of course, Walker. All the Geiger trucks down here. Uh, Dumb Man Low has a couple of trucks down here. Bigfoot and Bob Vila. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking for trends, but it's all random, so whatever. And uh, you see down here, I keep track. 15 races times, there should be 150 top 10 so far. So I'm, I, I use those numbers to make sure I'm um, on the up and up. Here's the race results. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, field summary. How about this shit? How about this shit? So this is this is um, when I save a replay, I'll grab the race report from the replay, and it basically looks like this. I mean, the, I, I paste it in, and I grab this. Now, there's a few things I have to do. You see how there's a just the way that Excel or Google Sheets divvies this up the number is before the uh the name here and it's not in its own column which would be great what i have to do every time i do the field summaries is i have to alphabetize it grab the places they're in go to this other sheet i've made where i've grabbed i have what their uh number and name look like from the replay field summary thing and then i also have it lined up with the name that I want to show up in the um, field snapshot. So what I'll do is because I alphabetize the other one, I'll alphabetize this one. And those numbers are going to be the same because I just did this one. But now I'll change this so it's A to Z and now Julius Caesar's first. But now I can grab this one, not have to worry about their numbers here. And then I can paste that, copy and paste that into the uh, uh, grid or the field snapshot thing that I make. And then uh, finally to do the movers and shakers and everything. Um, I basically had to make a third column here. This is called alpha, which is alphabetized. Helps me remember what it is. So Albert Einstein, these numbers won't change. Well, it's, there you go. Um, so now we have the starting position. Albert Einstein started eighth. Because I just grabbed it from here. They started 8th. Alex Trebek started 20 or 36th. There you go. And then you see where he's running there. So now, then I have equations here that subtract from each other. And then I can order, organize them like that. So Smokey the Bear, um, in that last, uh, the last snapshot I did at Nazareth, he had gained 18 spots throughout the race. And you go down here, McGruber's down there. Cardi B had the, those two had the DNFs. So that's why those are down there. So there you go. Those are just extra things I had to do to make those look good. And there you see, if you're at all interested, I mean, there, here you see the um, what I was talking about with the S's in here. If I wanted to just do like 1.58 behind, I would have to do a couple things. Because right now, I want to change this to... Just give me a plain number and it won't let me because there's an S in there. So what I would have to do every time is do a replace with, um, and then I have to remember not to do every sheet, just this sheet replace. There's going to be 102 here. I've learned this number. And you saw that number pop up 102. So now the S's are gone. The S's are out of their names, no big deal. But now I have the numbers I want, those intervals. But that's just an extra step I don't feel like doing each time just cutting that out so that's why those numbers look really bizarre in those field snapshots um i think that was the one of the first owner things i did so yeah i post i pasted this here when i could have just pasted it in my actual owners tab uh buh, 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 buh. what do we got but that's pretty much it uh, basically top fives, top tens. Again, I haven't been showing those, uh, driver bugs all season. I probably won't. It's just an extra, extra little step. I'm chopping out of everything, but, um, yeah, the coverage of the second half is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be focusing on 
the um, teams. I mean, it's no longer going to be it's not it's no longer going to be well, still going to be Walker. We're going to keep track of the overall championship, the Jenkins Cup, thirty races. Whoever has the most points wins, and that's going to be fifty dollars. And then the uh, owner points over the last fifteen races. We're all starting at zero, starting at Pocono for race sixteen. Um, at the end of the season, those will be all fifty points and or uh, fifty dollars. Whoever wins those final fifteen races, which team wins those final fifteen races? Um, and I'm still going to have the system that uh, every every one of my drivers, including me, that finish above the top. YouTube driver in those uh, Jenkins Cup points, the overall points championship. Um, I'm still knocking off ten dollars from the total. So, but so it's basically going to be five dollars from each. So, fifty dollars, and say I win the points, and uh, Walker F- Matt Geiger win uh, finishes second in the points. Um, he'll win forty five dollars, and the the team owner in the last 15 races who wins the uh, owner's points mainly yeah who, who wins the owner's championship in those last 15 races um will win 45 dollars as well so a hundred dollars and i knocked ten dollars off because i finished up there yeah that worked that, that works out again i uh, just wanted to spread the wealth a little bit and especially for bryce <laughs> sorry but i mean he's He's, he's, I, I know for sure a lot of, a lot of you people, a lot of you, uh, a lot of the, um, owners I know have been following the channel for a while and Bryce, I know he's been commenting the last four or five seasons I've run and I kind of feel bad for him and, uh, don't want him to lose interest. Like he's going to watch these races and he has no other than, you know, just having fun watching the races like he's done in the past, but now uh, he, you can be reinvigorated here with uh, the new 15 race owners points, and maybe I think going forward, not even do the individual, not focus on the individual points going forward, but always do owners points to determine the winner. But again, who knows? Maybe the, the, our next season we have 30 different uh, owners. But I don't know. Um, and also, sometime in the second half of the season. I will be uh, randomly opening up the, uh, it'll be within the first 10 laps of a race. So you don't have to watch every race. I don't expect you to do that. Um, But I'll be opening up the registration for the next season. And um, of course, all of you are grandfathered in. You're all guaranteed a spot in any season going forward. Um. If you don't, you know, because everybody's, everybody's participating in the comments, little things here and there. It's been, it's been fun. So, uh, there's definitely, definitely nobody, uh, you know, just, uh, like, uh, randomly decided to watch a video last year, realized they could win a hundred bucks, put their name in and then aren't watching the races and stuff and they're not participating. It's just better that everyone's active and everyone is. So it's great. Um, but that's it. So, oh, and bonus points too. So, sorry. Here are the bonus points for the season. Um, and I have, this is where I put myself 30 points in the hole to start the season. So, um, 15 times three, cause I give three bonus points out a race. We've done 15 races should be 45. And there it is. And I forget why I have this here. I have the sum. I forget why I did that. There was a there was a good reason why I did that because I think the the minus thirty was thrown off my calculations. Um. So I had to because uh, if, if I put minus thirty, or I could I could have probably just put minus thirty in one of these in Daytona for example or something. I don't know or subtracted thirty from this number. I don't know. But 45, that's the number we want. 15 times 3 is 45. We're there. <laughs> um, so all the bonus points have been accounted for. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's how the back end works. Thanks for checking out the, the season. Um, 
great stuff coming. I got two spotter packs coming um, in the second half. We're going to be using one at Pocono, and then we got one at Miami coming up. Um, and uh, probably mix them. I don't know, but I, I've I've really nailed down how to make these. And, um, I'll be making a tutorial video on those as well. I know a couple of people have, a couple of people have asked for those, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. See you at Pocono.